also follow the stream on Twitch um, and um, we had a cooking show, a baking show before, if you missed that. Thank you to Gabi and to Sorida. The cookies are ready? No? no? Well, but you want to show them? Semi-ready. Like, look at them. The Art. camera's there. Yeah, this camera's here. Look, mm. look a bit like that. They smell good, but this, yeah. Yep. It's cookies. I can't wait. Go. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, I, wa I want to talk um, about the MA space because I'm so happy that we have this here, the MA space. And um, it's basically no talk, it's just like a vision. I want to tell you um, how the digital world can be and what we can actually integrate into this world. And what we all can do together, so the title is Let's Space Together, whatever this means. I mean, it's called the May Space, and um, you see the space here. So there's a lot of space, digital space. And uh, at the moment, it's a Windows build and a Mac build. And um, yeah, when I'm walking so slowly, the pier. I almost forgot that there is a boat. So most of the people who are coming here into the space probably never seen the boat before because they look in this direction. And then um, they see, okay, yeah, you have to go straight here, but no, there is a boat. This is the Uran Spray boat. Maybe some people remember that the Amaze Festival was a few years ago in Uran Spray. And Nico, my very good friend and brother, bought this kind of boat, but for real. And um, we thought, okay, it's cool. We can put this into the space as well. And uh, this boat usually goes between Lille and Paris and he's doing artists and residence programs and stuff like that. And uh, uh, studio is in there for, for musicians. They do concerts. Yeah, they go along the river and uh, doing very nice cultural stuff. And uh, I was thinking it's cool to have this boat as well in there because in the future, I think, we could make a tour around the island with the boat. So it's maybe 20 minutes and then you can jump in and have a talk in there well, for a bunch of people, flamingos of course, because everybody's a flamingo, and uh, um, have a tour and nobody can escape. Everybody has to listen. So it's a wonderful idea, I guess. And uh, in the future, basically, um, I mean, I don't want to talk about metaverse because I don't believe in that so much but uh, I believe in islands, and uh, there can be many more islands, I think. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's already almost just water here, and uh, on the horizon, kind of another island would be nice. And uh, before I talk too much, um, thanks to the team um, from Speak Geek from Johannesburg. Um, it's a team of five people sitting in Johannesburg, and uh, actually, I've met Andre, who is the project lead. I've met him uh, at the Amaze train jam, the train jam we do between uh, Joburg and Cape Town. He was at the first one. And um, yeah, so we, after the train jam, we never met again, <laughs> but we had a good time. And uh, I, I was working with uh, a person together with uh, Dale Deacon on, on virtual reality stuff, the Amaze train station we have in VR chat. And uh, um, he heard about all these problems what I have with the MA space, that 2021 there is no space, and I was totally frustrated, and I definitely wanted to have it back because I see a lot of possibilities in this project. And uh, um, 
he told me, hey, I know someone, Andre, and uh, he has a company, and uh, there are a lot of developers as well, and they're keen to help you out. And actually what I needed was system developers, back-end programming, and all this kind of stuff that you have a kind of certain industry standard that you actually can build on that. And uh, I mean, 2020, the thing what Stefan and uh, all the other people were building together, the system, uh, was fantastic. It was great, but it was just with a hot meal, you know. It was just in two months we built something that is, was working. And, uh, but then the next step, what we want to do in 2021 for the festival, was not doable for the amount of work for one person. And uh, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's uh, crazy that uh, we haven't seen that before. How much work this actually is, and uh, um, so grateful to have to, uh, that we started in 2020 with this idea, and to have it back now in 2022. And thank you, of course, to Moshe Linke, um, with whom it already mostly started, because I mean he gave the first uh, uh, um, architecture for it, and we placed then this multiplayer thing in there, and. Um, now he created this incredible island. I'm almost like, I'm super astonished and impressed about how beautiful this is. And um, I don't know if you see it or I'm just here in the way. I'm always in the way, right? I'm always there. So, so. You can really go a little bit higher. Maybe I can go a little bit faster, yes. And look down there. It's incredible. It's just like so many space and you can hide some stuff and you see here all the flamingos here with a, with a confetti cannon. We also have flamethrowers where you can fly around. We have this kind of streaming hall. All these teleporters. Thank you to Nomi to create all these teleporters and also the avatars and some of the animations in there. Then of course Gianluca Pandolfo who created the UI, this wonderful UI we have now. Everything looks like round. It looks like it's a project now. It's something what, is, what fits together. And um, here I see myself. So, I mean, it's just like brilliant. And I mean, everybody who is in the space and experienced as well yesterday the Eurovision contest, it's uh, just like it's working and I can feel it when suddenly then there are whatever a thousand people are in the same space and jumping around and um, seeing all these wonderful places and exhibitions. Here you can actually talk now, here these are the talk balls because before we could just chat, now actually we can go down there and then the microphone goes on and uh, this is something what is, yeah, it fascinates me and it's also, I mean, we always want to build it for many people. We don't want to have so many instances. And because I have the feeling that in a space as well, in a digital space, we want to gather as many people as possible together. And to have a festival, you want to have a festival feeling. And uh, um, I think the space can generate that. For every curator and um, game developer, I mean, I'm super, super, um, would be super, super nice when we all work together and that we find a way to make nice curation because, I mean, this space should actually be an open door for everyone who is actually as well not especially into gaming, but they can experience art house games and playful media installations. We can have music here. With all these kind of boom boxes, we have different artists in there. We have 12 boom boxes now in there. And um, we can build sound sculptures. So here, for example, is Devolution, which is also a wonderful project we had from 2015. I don't know why is this computer doing that. But yeah, it's new. And um, here's Lonely Mountain. This is the Devolution iteration exhibition. We're also going to have a talk on the 17th in the Silent Green with Daniel and Jan and Martina moderating it. Yeah, here yeah, the exhibition is something what is incredible. We, we have now an SDK, an SDK, what 
what we can give to the developers and they can build their own booths and also in the future we want that people can build their own scenes so it just feels incredible I mean so something to see something like that you as a, as a, a creator and game developer and working with game engines you see all the potential you can have in the space and I really want and I, I hope that it's gonna work out that you're also gonna get inspired by being in there and saying hey I want to do an exhibition there I want to do this and that and then this space is there for it's there for you and uh, hopefully a lot of people will see it as well and get more attention to art house games and all this wonderful work what you do and um, also creating events regular events basically the space is 24 7 open and uh, i like to have a program it's a, it's basically it's a venue a venue what we can use where we find collaborations with institutions with clubs with publishers and everybody can actually have a little kind of stand you know and show their games with the dashboard we have we actually can send them as well a way that you can curate regularly new games so we don't even have to do it by ourselves so they get basically the password to do on their booth whatever they want and um, why let space together because I think something like that such a project you can't do alone and the goal is the same as a festival we want to work together as a team and there's one goal to show that there are super diverse games everywhere in the world different cultures different stories and I see that space can be this curated space where players and as well art lovers and digital enthusiasts can find what they've always been looking for. So I think I'm gonna stop now. I can do a tour again. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You find me on Twitter, you find me on Discord, and as well on the 17th at the festival in Silent Green. And um, I think that's it from the Amaze Space. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it and enjoy the space. I know Andre will put there some more playful things in there. So I think in the evening you can discover much more than you discover right now. Thank you. Now we're gonna have a talk, but we have a kind of a technical break, I guess. Exactly. A five minutes break. And then we have our workshop coordinator, <laughs> Sebastian Hochstraten. Is it right? Hochstraten. Hochstraten. And he's working with us since 2019. And I'm so quite happy to have him in the team. He loves art, he loves games, and he knows a lot about games. And he has an exhibition running at the moment in Rotterdam. And uh, yeah, Sebastian will tell you about it. And uh, it's going to be a tour around this gallery and as well about the purpose of this whole show. And um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I'm sure we're going to see us in the space. Talk very soon. Bye bye.